Yesterday I got started with filming some of my May setup for a future Plan With Me video, but I didn't finish, so I'll just finish that up this morning. Well, that took a surprisingly short amount of time, so I guess it looks like I can do basically nothing until around 10. See, when you make YouTube videos, you can justify watching a lot of YouTube videos because you're getting inspiration from other creators. But in reality, I'm just being lazy and watching a crap ton of YouTube videos. <laughs> now, let me show you how my planning system works. So what I do is pretty much just schedule out each week on Monday with the tasks that I need to do for each day. And then at the beginning of each day, I'll set up an hourly schedule for which task I'm doing at each hour. So my next thing is just to either go hiking or I guess I kind of want to run, but depending on how my knees feel. I'm gonna tell myself that I'm doing mostly easy runs and not pushing myself because I don't wanna risk my immune system while we're in the middle of this pandemic. But in reality, I think it's just because I'm tired and lazy. That's all right. We're gonna let my laziness protect my immune system. Now that I have a bunch of free time stuck indoors and I'm not necessarily going to like see anybody in person, I've been trying to learn how to do winged eyeliner. It's low risk right now because I'm not going outside and I'm not going to see anybody so it's okay if I mess up because no one has to see it. Except everyone watching this video. Honestly this kind of reminds me of brush lettering, like the bristle tip pen of an eyeliner pen is really similar to bristle tip brush pens but you know, I'm drawing on my eyelid instead of on a piece of paper. Here's two transferable skills. Also, since I'm about to run out of lip balm, I recently got some more from Glossier and, and it came with this little sample pack of their Cloud Paint Cream Blushes, so maybe we'll try some of those out. You see, it's you, tell me that. Something about like prepping my face as if I'm going out in public, even though I'm not, makes me feel more productive, more ready to get work done. The way I usually take Instagram photos is I take about 10 to 20 all at once. One, it helps me with the consistency of my feed because then everything looks like it's under the same lighting conditions because it is, it's been basically taken at the same time. And it just saves me time with only having to get set up one time each month instead of having to do everything in smaller batches. Step one, we open up the windows so that I get some beautiful natural lighting. Next, I'm gonna wipe down my desk because it's white, so it shows smudges super easily. Now remember kids, Clorox wipes are for cleaning surfaces, not for eating, because they do not prevent or cure COVID-19. I don't recommend standing on your spinny stool, but I need height to take pictures. Don't do this at home, kids. I'm 
getting kind of tired, so I'm gonna take a break by watching cat videos on TikTok for like 10 minutes. And then it'll be back to taking photos and then editing. Next I have this Google Sheet where I plan out all of my posts. So on this side I put the number of the date that I'm going to post it on. So 6 is just going to be May 6th. Then here I'll put the file name of the photo. Here I'll put any notes that I want to put in the caption, like maybe this caption should be about my new video because I posted one. And then this last part is where I'll check off when I've scheduled it. I don't need to take or schedule new Instagram photos for another month plus a week. That's pretty darn great. That's also the main reason why you tend to see photos of my April setup in the middle of June, because I schedule things way too far ahead in advance. It's what works for my productivity style, and hopefully that works for y'all. I haven't heard any complaints yet. paper for sociology due today. I thought I'd like this class because the subject matter is really interesting but the way the class is taught just like doesn't make sense to me. Basically all you do is watch Michael Moore documentaries and then write papers about the social issues covered and I don't think the professor ever reads the papers because on every single one of them like everyone in the class gets a hundred percent and then a comment that says some variation of like good job wow I'll take a free A, I guess, but like, I do actually want to learn this subject. But anyways, I'm gonna write one more of those papers that is not going to be read, most likely. So, I'm gonna bang this out in 42 minutes before I have a web session thing for UCLA. Let's go! We done finish this in 36 minutes. All right. Hi, Bruin to Bruin. We're just gonna go over some information about new student orientation, dates and deadlines, and placement exams, and just feel free to ask any questions you have. Overall, a good time. Good use of an hour instead of just spending an extra hour watching more cat videos on TikTok. Now I'm just gonna transfer my messy, weird-looking scribble notes onto a little post-it note to-do list that I will stick into my bullet journal and move around as needed. I feel like this looks so ominous. It's the study demon here to remind you to do your schoolwork. Now you may have seen if you've been looking real close at my bullet journal that I've been trying to track my food intake for a while and that's because I used to think I had a problem with overeating. But then as I started actually tracking my food, I actually realized I have a problem with under eating. So that whole spiel was just for me to preface that I'm a little bit short of my calorie goal for today. So I'm gonna go eat some ice cream. Not because it's healthy. But my guilty pleasures in life are eating ice cream while watching personal finance videos. So let us go do that. Like when I'm vlogging, it doesn't feel like I'm a real person anymore who's like doing real things. It's like, like playing a part, it's you like know what I mean? Video. Yeah. I felt a little down yesterday, and I'm still feeling kind of down today. I'm not particularly sad for any 
particular reason, I just don't feel like my normal self. I feel kind of like how I did when I was really, really burnt out during the past couple of school years where I just don't really care about anything and it's just this sinking feeling in my chest of I have to make it through the next day. So we're gonna take it easier today. I'm not gonna force myself to be overly productive because I know that's how I burnt myself out in the first place. I'm just gonna let myself go with the flow, do whatever strikes my fancy, whether that be I feel like editing a video or I feel like doing some extra studying for my gov class or any other class just because I know that my normal self wants to strive and wants to grow and be better at the things that I do but I don't quite feel like my normal self today so if I feel like doing those more productive things I'll do that if I feel like playing songs on ukulele or <laughs> watching more freaking iPad review videos on YouTube I'll let myself do that too because this break is gonna be about unburning myself out, letting myself recover and return back to the person who I know that I am, who wants to strive and improve and grow. So let's get this required gov homework done and then we'll see where we go from there. Maybe I'll repaint my nails today. Not really that there's something wrong with how they currently are, but Painting my nails is just such a relaxing activity. Something about the repetitive movement of it and being forced to just sit still and just exist while I'm waiting for them to dry is very calming. It clears my head. Another thing I really like to do when I feel stressed or down is to clean my room. I don't know what it is about it, but it really just calms me down. since the last time I've washed my makeup brushes. And I'm 17, so this doesn't add up. Possible trigger warning for just slight, gross, bodily function things. A little bit of blood. My piercing on this side just like didn't have a fun day today. I rotated it 180 degrees just like I did on this side. And this side didn't swell up or anything or do anything weird. But this side was swollen in the morning and then when I rotated it, it did that. I got these pierced in December 2019, so it's been five months and they're still not quite normal, I guess? I tried to change them in like March because my piercer said three months would be the normal healing time, but then when I took them out, it started bleeding again on this side, I think. So now I'm just scared and I haven't tried to take them out since then. And now I'm extra scared and I don't want to take them out because it did this. Like, if anybody has insight, please help me in the comments below because I have an unreasonably large collection of earrings considering that I still have been too afraid to take the starter ones out. Like, should I go see my doctor? I would normally go ask the piercer, but since it's social distancing, they're not open because it's a non-essential service. So what do I do about this? I need to stop stressing myself out. This is self-isolation, I can relax, take a break, everything is going to be fine. As long as my ear hole stops freaking bleeding. Just got this in the mail. Look at that carioid. I got this new microphone that's a shotgun mic that I can just put on top of my camera. Because it's pretty small, I can probably use it on my vlog camera, although it won't connect to this Canon G5X because it doesn't have a mic input. I'm planning to also invest in a new vlogging camera soon that does have a mic input, so if y'all have any recommendations or tips, let me know in the comments. At college, I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogging style content and I want to make the quality as good as possible for you guys. Anyways, I'm going to plug this into my gigantic DSLR camera, it's the only camera I have with a mic input, and just see what it sounds like, or hear what it sounds like. I have a YouTube video playing off to the side there, <clears throat> has simulated background noise. So yeah, this is what it sounds like with the mic plugged in. Let me unplug it real quick. 
This is what it sounds like compared to the default on-camera mic. just been hit like a train with a sense of my own inadequacy. Even people who you watch on the internet, who maybe present an idealized version of their life on the internet, don't really have perfect, polished, shiny, awesome lives all the time. Because I definitely don't. I struggle a lot with just feeling like, like I'll never be good enough. I won't ever match up to the impossible standards that I have in my head. I always compare myself to other people, but only the worst parts of myself to the best parts of other people. And then when I when I do things well, because I've done a lot of things well, if I'm going to be honest, it just feels like I was lucky. I didn't really merit this. I usually put like, what, 10 minutes of my life on the internet every week, and it's always the shiniest, most aesthetically pleasing part of it with plants and fairy lights and perfectly edited white backgrounds. But I'm... In real life, I'm also kind of a mess. And now I'm just trapped in here. In real life, I'm trapped in this four walls of my room. I'm trapped in the four walls of my brain and the stupid things that I come up with to make myself feel bad about myself when I really don't need to be. Man, I don't know.